Okay. So again, good afternoon to everyone. Let's continue our discussion now um, with your ESR. So ESR is also known as your erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So ESR, I just want um, it to be very, very clear at this point of time. Huh? ESR is a non-specific marker of underlying inflammation. So when I say non-specific, your ESR could be a screening test, but never as a confirmatory test. So a lot of um, a lot of different conditions in our body, both pathological, um, any disorder and diseases, sometimes would have ESR that is abnormal. Okay, um, that is abnormal. So ESR, as you can see, is the sedimentation rate. So what do we mean by that? This is the rate of fall of every RBC that will now settle from the top of your um, tube going to the bottom of the tube. So the sedimentation rate, please remember this, is directly proportional to the weight of the cell aggregate and inversely proportional to the surface area. Directly proportional to cell aggregate and inversely proportional to your surface area. So why do we perform ESR? Okay? Why do we perform ESR? So as you can see, ESR is a nonspecific marker. So when I say marker, an abnormal ESR result would actually signal that there is something abnormal inside your body. Okay? There is something going on in your body that is actually um, not aligned with the usual scenario or the usual um, pathophysiological uh, um, processes in your body. Okay? In your body. So, with regards to ESR, um, you would hear it um, even in immunology. You would hear it in hematology because it can actually give you a reflection of both anemia and also inflammation. But before we dig deeper into the different conditions and the different um, consideration in performing your erythrocyte sedimentation rate, let us first discuss the stages of your ESR which are, number one, the lag phase, the LAG phase. O, di ba parang yung growth lang ng ating mga bacteria during culture, di ba? May lag, may, lo may lag, may log, may plateau, di ba? Same thing with erythrocytes, we also have different stages. Okay, the first one is the lag phase, the decantation phase, and the, um, the last phase would be the um, sedimentation rate, sedimentation phase na. Okay? So, th the first phase, which is the lag phase, happens in the first 10 minutes. Okay? And then, the decantation phase happens in the next 40 minutes. And the last stage, which is the sedimentation phase, happens in the last 10 minutes. And if you're gonna add all of this, ilang, o, ilang, min ilang minutes lahat, this is 60 minutes for a total of one hour, which would now lead me to the answer that um, into a, another point that I want to make that your erythrocyte sedimentation rate is the rate of your RBC sedimenting within an hour, okay? Within an hour. So that is one hour. That's why kapag sa laboratory, ESR cannot be considered or should not be stopped. Okay, hindi pwedeng i-stat yung ESR. Ano to? Alugin mo, bilisan nyo, i-cheer up mo yung mga ESR. Okay, ESR, let's go, let's do this. Let's do this under 30 minutes because doc will get mad. Hindi ganun yon. Okay? You have to really wait for one hour. But later, as we go along, may i-share ako sa inyo ng mga advances in ESR na dati one hour, ngayon, 45 minutes na lang. O, ba? So, moving forward, um, let's talk about the different stages. So the lag phase will now be the ROLU formation. Okay? Hindi to ROLU ha, ROLU formation. What happened during ROLU formation? Your RBC now will start to aggregate or at, um, magdidikit-dikit na sila to one another. Okay? They will be um, joined together na. And then the decantation phase, which is the next 40 minutes, would be a more rapid and constant sedimentation. So meaning to say, after your RBC already have formed ROLU, okay, it, it would now be easier for them to fall down. Gravity, okay? And then the last 10 minutes, 
Okay? The last 10 minutes would now be a slow. Why? Why slow? Because almost all of the RBC have accumulated in the bottom of your tube already. Okay? Bottom of your tube already. So please take note that using a longer tube, okay, the um, if you're using a longer tube, the, the longer the decantation phase would be, okay? The, the longer the decantation phase would be. So those are the three, lag, decantation, and sedimentation phase, okay? Let us now move forward to the different factors that would affect your sedimentation rate, okay? Your sedimentation rate. Let's now talk about the intrinsic first. When we say intrinsic, something is wrong in the RBC, something is wrong with the blood or the plasma. That is the reason why there is an abnormal ESR. Okay? There's an abnormal ESR. So let's start with the intrinsic factor. So intrinsic factors are any inherent um, factors that comes along with your specimen, either your RBC or your plasma. So Number one, okay, is the number of RBC per cubic millimeter. So this is inversely proportional to your ESR. Okay, RBC countdown. Okay, what happened in your polycythemia vera? Increase, decrease, thumbs up, thumbs down. Increase or decrease RBC count in your um, polycythemia vera. Increase, decrease, increase, correct. Increase sa PV. In your anemia, it is decreased, obviously. Okay? So, meaning to say, slower ang ESR kapag polycythemia vera, the anemia is faster ESR. As you can see, ang kaya siya ang gamit nating adjective is either slower or faster because we're talking about rate. Okay? We're talking about rate. Okay, hindi ko sinasabing increase, decrease, kasi we're talking about rate, okay? Mas mabilis, okay? Kung narin, pag sinabi natin faster, that would be around 40 mm per hour, ganon. Okay? So, slower and faster yung parameter natin dito, ha? Guys? So, in your RBC count, okay? The more RBC, the slower. Which is, um, bakit, bakit ganon, sir? Okay? Bakit pag mas madami, mas mabagal. Kasi syempre, siksikan sila, hindi sila agad-agad makakababa. Unlike your anemia, okay, parang mag-isa lang siya doon, babagsak talaga siya agad papunta sa, sa baba. Okay? Papunta sa baba. So that is for your, um, that is for your um, RBC number or RBC count. Okay? Let's talk about RBC size. Let's talk about RBC size. RBC size is directly proportional naman. Okay. Directly proportional with ESR. What do I mean? The bigger the cell, the faster the ESR. Okay, RBC ya. Ah. The bigger the RBC, the faster the ESR. The smaller the RBC, the slower the ESR. Nakukuha? The slower the ESR. Question, what parameter can I use to check if your cell are macrocytic or normocytic or microcytic? What can I use to check it? Ay, mabibilis. Okay. It's your MCV. What is the upper limit? Okay. I can say it is macrocytic kapag ilan? Ay, may naglagay ng 100. Okay. The answer is, ba't mo 100? Okay, may naglagay, may naglagay, tama naman pala, 100. Okay, greater than 100. Okay, greater than 100 femtoliter um, would mean it is macro, cytic. Okay, yung sagot ni, ayan, normal yan. Okay, normal yung less than 100. Okay, it should be greater than. Okay, greater than 100 femtoliter. Pag less than 80 femtoliter, that is your micro cytic. Okay, very good. So again, ha, RBC size is inverse is directly proportional. Mas malaki, mas mabilis. Mas maliit, mas mabagal. Bakit mas malaki? Laki mo eh. Di ba bababa ka agad, di ba? So, ayan. Talk about RBC shapes, okay? What do, what do we call the variation in your RBC shape? 
what do we call the variation in your RBC shape? We call it shape. Okay. The answer is okay, poikilocytosis. Okay. Poikilocytosis, correct. Okay. Question. In the RBC indices, okay, tignan natin kung may mga nakakatanda pa. Um, RDW would reflect A, poikilocytosis, B, um, anisochromia, or letter C, anisocytosis. A, B, C. <laughs> the answer is, okay, ang sagot po ay letter C, anisocytosis. Okay? RDW, guys, ayan, eh, very good. Ah. RDW, anisocytosis. Okay? Anisocytosis. Sir, ano yung anisochromia? Anisochromia, difference in the color of your RBC. Okay? Difference in the color of your RBC. <laughs> Tatanong ko pa sana, what is the last stage capable of mitosis? Pero masyado ng malayo. Okay, baka isumpa nyo na ako ng tuluyan. Okay, yung po, um, pro-baso polyortho natin na palatandaan sa RBC um, maturation series. Let, but let's go back here. Okay, in the shape of your RBC, any abnormal or irregular shape would hinder ROLU formation. So kapag pinigilan mo yung ROLU formation, matatagalan ka. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, any poikilocytes, any presence of poikilocytosis would now cause a slower ESR rate. Okay? Slower ESR rate. Okay? Are we clear? So far, clear? Clear, clear, clear? Okay. My next slide will be the marriage of clean chem and hematology somehow. Why? Okay. Your plasma proteins. Uh, remember, your plasma proteins, albumin. Okay? As you all know, sabi ko nga, your ESR are usually used to check inflammation. These are usually do, done, your ESR is done to check in the presence of inflammation. So, as you can see in your plasma proteins, we have acute phase reactants. Okay? We have acute phase reactants. So as and as are you you are now seeing right now, albumin, lecithin, all okay, um would slow down your ESR. Okay, would slow down your ESR. Question: Is albumin a positive or a negative acute phase reactant? Positive or acute phase reactant? Okay, negative. Okay, correct. Ay nag-aral na sila. Okay, correct. Aside from Aside from um, albumin and transtyretine, what else is the negative acute phase reactant? Yung isa pa. Aside from prealbumin, aside from transtyretine. Aside from prealb. Okay? It's your transferrin. Okay? It is your transferrin. Okay? Three lang po sila. O tatlo nga lang sila. Your prealbumin or transtyretine, your albumin, and your transferrin. Okay? So, only three. So, moving forward, okay, moving forward with that, as you can see now here, guys, pag may inflammation, faster ang ating, okay, pag may inflammation, faster ang ESR. Pag walang inflammation, normal yung ESR, obviously. Okay? Normal yung ESR, obviously. And as you can see, globulins, faster. Fibrinogen, faster. Why? Globulins, in general, are your alpha 1, alpha 2, beta, and your gamma. Your fibrinogen, which is a beta um, globulin, also causes faster ESR. So nakikita ninyo, ha, that the presence of acute, positive acute phase reactant would increase your would uh, uh, would increase your ano would increase your ESR sir pwede pa ulit kung mabilis po kapag may inflammation um your ESR rate is faster in the presence of inflammation okay and siguro tatanungin niyo ako sir paano naman po naging mabilis dahil sa inflammation 
at sasagutin ko kayo, this is because of the presence of your positive acute phase reactant. Make sense now? Okay? So at least, alam nyo ngayon na yung ESR mo mabilis dahil may inflammation. But what about that inflammation that increases my ESR? It is because of the presence of your acute phase reactants. Okay? And it is because of the presence of your acute phase reactants. Am I clear now? Okay, am I clear? Okay, thank you. Okay, wait, wala nang tumagot. Okay, so those are the plasma proteins. So remember, dalawang plasma proteins lang ang nagpapabagal, lecithin and albumin. Okay, let's move forward with the viscosity. Okay, viscosity of your plasma is inversely proportional to your ESR. Again, your your RBC viscosity is inversely proportional to your ESR. The more viscous, the slower the ESR. Para lang yang take for example water. Water would move faster, di ba? In your capillary, yung capillary motion ng 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 less viscous natin would flow um faster unlike in your uh unlike in your in a more viscous solution mas mabagal magfo-flow yan okay kasi nga viscous siya okay so in your viscosity with regards to your viscosity inversely proportional sila wait 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 parang terno sila nino terno sila ni RBC count okay ni RBC count bakit in polycythemia vera ladies and gentlemen Polycythemia varies also characterized not only with increased RBC but also with increased blood viscosity. Okay? Okay? Okay. So poly polycythemia vera, increase yung RBC mo, increase pa yung viscosity mo. Okay. So moving forward. Okay, moving. Kanina ka pa moving forward, sir. Hindi ka naman nag-move forward. Okay? So... Moving on, okay, we also have extrinsic factors, okay? Extrinsic and intrinsic factors. Children, wag malilito ha. Kasi last time yung pinag-usapan natin, intrinsic and extrinsic factors ng um, hemolysis. Iba ito sa ESR, ha? So yung mga pinag-usapan natin kanina, intrinsic factors, RBC count, presence of plasma proteins, um, poikilocytosis, what else pa ba? Ma your, um, M the size of your cell. And then we also included dun sa discussion natin your viscosity. So all of those are intrinsic factors. Let's talk about extrinsic factors this time. Okay? When I say extrinsic factors, ito na yung mga ginagawa nung medtech habang pinaperform yung ESR. Ito yung nangyayari sa tube. Ito yung manner ng collection. Okay? Number one. Okay, extrinsic factors is the length of tube, okay? The longer the tube, the faster the ESR, okay? Again, the longer the tube, the faster the ESR, okay? The faster the ESR. Sir, parang may naalala kong note mo kanina sa baba, okay? The faster the ESR. When I say faster ESR, that's equivalent to elevated ESR. Pero why am I saying it again faster or slower? Because I'm talking about rate. Okay? So, faster ESR. The longer the tube, the faster the ESR. Why? Because in this sense, okay, kunwari, this one. Ayan. Ito, mas mahaba. Kunwari, the, the longer this is, kuha tayo ng isa. Okay, this one. Can you see? Which has, which will have a faster ESR based on length of tube? Okay? Is it the Stabilo? Okay? Or the Muji Pen? Okay? The answer would be the Muji pen. Mas matas yung ESR, mas faster yung ESR niya because it's longer compared to this one. Okay? What about the diameter? Okay? What about the diameter of the tube? Um, the normal diameter of your tube should be two millimeter to three point seventy five millimeter. Okay? Two millimeter to three point seventy five millimeter. Before I move forward, question. What should be the distance of your tourniquet from the the site of applic the puncture site during phlebotomy? What should be the distance of your tourniquet? It should be 
3 to 4 inches. What should be, uh, next question, mabilis tayo dito. What should be the distance of the drop of blood from the label in your PBS? One, okay. Answer. Okay, good, good. 1 cm, correct. What should be the diameter of your the drop of blood? What should be the diameter? Okay. What should be the angle? Okay. What should be the angle of your needle insertion during phlebotomy? <laughs> Aga, aga niya sumagot. Okay. What should be the angle? Okay. 15 to 30 pag phlebotomy. But that's correct. 30 to 45 kapag peripheral blood smear. Okay. Kapag peripheral blood smear. Okay. Lesson. Patapusin ng tanong. Okay. So moving forward. So, so yun nga. Lesson natin doon, patapusin ang tanong. And same thing with you guys, okay? What's happening right now is not your fate, okay? That's just a chapter, a season in your life. So, huwag niyong tapusin lahat ngayon, okay? Moving forward, let's go to, ayan, the diameter of your tube. The, the less, um, if you have as a, a, what do you call this? If you have a short, a smaller, ayan, if you have a smaller diameter, slower siya. Slower diameter, slower, um, smaller diameter, slower ESR. And then if it is a, if it is a greater, your diameter is um, big, okay, is big, and that would mean that your ESR would be faster, okay? Your ESR would be faster, okay? So diameter of the tube, 2 to 3.75 millimeter, less than 2, slower, uh, greater than 3.75, that would be a faster ESR. So, nakikita nyo na kung paano yung exams? Yes, sir. Okay? So, increase or decrease? Mga ganyan lang yan. Okay? With regards to your temperature, okay? Siyempre, the optimum is 22 to 27. Sir, bakit 22 to 27? This is your room temperature. Okay? Less than 22, babagal. Di ba parang ikaw, Pag, pag um, normal yung ano, normal yung temperature, you can freely move. Like us here in the Philippines. But for Alberto and Jose na nasa states ngayon, the colder, mas, mas restricted yung movement nila. Okay? So, the higher the temperature, the faster the ESR. Directly proportional temperature and ESR rate. The higher the temp, the faster the ESR. The lower the temperature, the slower the ESR. Am I clear? Can I see a, a raise of hands if I'm clear so far with all the things that we're talking about? Okay. Yeah. Um. Before I proceed, let me just clarify this one. Milea has a question. Longer tube, sabi natin kanina ba? Longer tube, faster ESR. Which is still correct. Pero ang point lang dun sa kaninang pinakita ko is elevated or longer yung ano niya. Longer yung decantation phase niya. Kasi mas mahaba yung, remember, Milea, mas mahaba yung travel ng RBC mo. So mas mahaba yung decantation mo. But it's still faster. In a sense, it's still an elevated ESR. Okay? Hopefully, I'm clear with that. Yung Stage 2 lang, yung decantation phase. Yung mas mahaba. Longer than 40 minutes. Okay? But of course, yung ang mag adjust doon, silag at saka yung dulong side. Okay? Okay. So, well, that's that's with temperature. 22 to 27. Ganito ang gagawin ninyo, guys. Ha? Um, specifically, in certain cases, like temperature, sizes, meron siyang, nor meron siyang optimum. So, anything below the optimum and above the optimum, dun maglalaro if it is faster or slower. Okay? So, inclination of the tube. Okay? This is very important for you to remember because tilting the tube accelerates ESR. Um, let me show you a picture of ESR para ngayon pa lang meron na kayong idea kung paano siya ginagawa. Okay? As you can see, lahat ng ESR straight. Okay? Lahat ng ESR straight siya, vertical siya, na oriented. Okay? Why? Because any tilt in your ESR, any tilt dyan, any baliko, okay, any tilt in your ESR would cause what? Tilting or inclination of your tube would cause 
okay, an error up to 30%. Okay, even a slight 3 degree angle tilt would now cause an error of 30% 30 error. Specifically, what error? It would accelerate or faster yung ESR. Nakukuha po ba ako? Kunwari, example, normal naman yung ano, Norm, sino bang nandito? Kunwari si Davis na lang. Sana gising pa si Davis, di ba? So, kunwari yung, yung ESR. Okay, this is your ESR tube ni Davis. Normal yung dugo ni Davis. Wala siyang inflammation, wala siyang condition. Pero nung nilagay ni ano, nung nilagay ni RG, yung kanyang tube, paka, pabalik ko, sabi niya, ah, okay, kay, kay Davis naman yan. Sabi niya, okay, Davis naman yan. O, nilagay niya lang ng naka, naka, ano, nakaslant. Eventually, faster yung ESR ngayon ni ano, the ESR results would now be faster. And ano nga yung reason natin kapag faster? Faster ESR would mean there is a presence of inflammation. And there's a presence of inflammation. So tilting would um, um, would cause now a, ano, would now cause a, would now cause an abnormal results of your ESR. Okay? So, before I go ahead, diga, before I move forward, siguro nagtataka kayo, Sir, what is the normal ESR? It is actually 0 to 30 for male, 0 to 40 for women. 0 to 30, 0 to 40. So, ibig sabihin, Sir, pwede akong mag-ESR, nilagay ko yan ng, ng isang oras, pero walang mangyayari, pwede. Pero normal pa rin yun. Zero. Zero lang siya. Okay? Later, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya binabasa. So let's move forward. Aside from those things, we still have um, this three, last three na lang to. So wet glasswares. Take for example, um, this is your tube, basa yung loob. It will cause hemolysis faster ESR. What about the presence of bubbles? Presence of bubbles, meaning to say, ibig sabihin, pag may mga bubbles ka dyan in between, konti lang yung dugo na nailagay mo. That's why it would also cause a faster ESR. Sir, paano naman po pag anticoagulant? Masyadong madami yung anticoagulant na nalagay ko, um, na-dilute ng anticoagulant yung blood, what will happen? Faster ESR. Sir, in what way? Remember this. Um, improper ratio of blood and anticoagulant would cause the shrinkage of your RBC. Meaning to say, that is a poikilocytosis. And not, not poikilocytosis. Um, in short, okay, kapag meron kang, kapag meron kang, um, kapag nag-crenate, rather, wag hindi ko natatawagin po yung kilocyte. Pag nag yung cells mo, okay, kapag nag yung cells mo, or nag-rupture yung cells mo, it would also cause hemolysis, therefore, increase din yung ESR. Okay? Hindi ko natatawagin po yung kilocytes, baka malito kayo kasi po yung kilocytes is different, slower ESR. Okay? Nagigets ba ako? Higher concentration ng anticoagulant, lahat elevated, e or faster ESR. Delay in ES, delay, kunwari, delay in ESR, take for example, you did your ESR um, for more than two hours, magsuswell naman this time yung RBC mo. Okay? Magsuswell yung RBC mo, RBC would start to, uh, would start to swell. And remember, um, when your RBC start to swell, okay? When your RBC start to swell, okay, kilocytosis na riyan, okay? Magiging spherocyte sila, magiging slower yung ESR. Okay? Slower yung ESR. Siguro what I want you to do then, um, I've seen some of your IG stories which I really want to upload. Some of you are summarizing my notes, di ba? Some of you are summarizing my notes tapos nakalagay yung names nila doon. Okay, nakalagay yung mga names nila doon. Which I really, uh, yun yung sinasabi ko sa batch ninyo, di ba? Matagal na. So, pagpatuloy nyo yung ganyan. And, syempre, di ba, um, ganyan din naman sa med school eh. May mga talagang tagagawa ng trans. Di ba? May tagagawa ng trans. Tapos, trans na lang yung babasahin ng buong batch. And so, ayun nga, um, with regards to that, okay, with regards to that, um, I want you to make sure na you have a table. Okay? Kasi meron kang table. Kung narin, kagaya nung pass. Di ba? Yung pressure, angle, speed. Tapos yung ano yung isang S kanina? Yung isang S kanina sa, sa uh, ulo. Pagdating dun sa 
ano natin, pinag-uusapan natin yung yung tawag dito. Pinag-uusapan natin yung um, peripheral blood smear. Pass. Pressure A. Hala, yung utak ko nawawala na. Pressure, your angle, your size, and your speed. Size of the drop and speed. Okay. So, moving forward, okay. Question. What color of test tube is being used for ESR? What color of tube is being used for ESR? Ay, very good. It is your, may sumagot ng lavender, may sumagot ng black. The correct answer is both. Why? Because I did not specify what type of ESR method. Okay? What type of ESR method? You can use your purple, you can use your black, but never your light blue. Okay? Not your light blue. Okay? Not your light blue. You can use your purple, you can use your black, but never your light blue. Okay? Never your light. Not your light blue. Okay? So, to be specific, okay, your black is for your western grain ESR or your western grain erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So, let us talk about those two. We have two types. We have your western grain and we have your Winthrop. Okay? Your Winthrop and your Landsberg, um, you have to read it after one hour. It uses a double oxalate um, as an anticoagulant. Okay? As an anticoagulant. So these are the normal values for your ESR. Again, we have your Winthrop. Winthrop and Landsberg. Okay? Winthrop and Landsberg. And we also have your Westergren method, which is the most sensitive method. Why? Because, diba, originally, you, have, you only have to read your ESR after one hour. ESR, take an extra leap. After one hour, hindi ka pa ulit ng isang oras. Okay? Two readings siya. I want you to remember that. Winthrop, one reading. Westergren, two readings. Okay? Two readings. In addition to that, your, your Westergren uses your 3.8 sodium um, citrate as an anticoagulant found in your black top tube. Okay? Found in your black top tube. Are we clear? Okay? So let me just talk about your Winthrop first. Your Winthrop, you can use double oxalate or you can use your EDTA on it. Okay? Your lavender. Your lavender too. Your Winthrop and Landsberg is actually, um, we call the tube Winthrop tube. Okay? We, call that, we call it Winthrop tube. And your Winthrop tube can be used into two tests. Your erythrocyte sedimentation rate which is on the left side, the red one, yung mga red graduation lines. Later, I'll show you. And on the right side, okay, which is the white increments, would now be for hematocrit. But I want you guys to be specific because next meeting, we will talk about hematocrit, hemoglobin, and RBC indices. But for now, I want you to remember then that when using your Winthrop tube, we are measuring the macro hematocrit macro hematocrit and not the micro hemat diba mayroon tayong micro hematocrit tube your Winthrop tube is your macro hematocrit tube okay why obviously kasi mas malaki siya okay so this is your Winthrop tube the red one okay the 0 to 10 that is your that is for your ESR the white graduation from 10 from 10 to 0 that is for your Hemato, macro hematocrit. That is for your hematocrit. Am I still clear? Am I still making sense with you guys? Ha? Huwag niyo pansin yung magulo kong hair ha. Huwag niyo ma-upload to. Pero para lang ma-ease yung aking ano. Are we clear? Clear ba tayo? Okay. Thank you, thank you. So, again, Winthrop tube. Okay. So, this is how your um, ESR look like. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, sir, but red? Kasi hemolyze yung, hemolyze yung RBC niya. Hemolyze, hemolyze. This is ano pa? Itong number four, ayan, 
Itong number four, white turbidity, sabi niya doon, leukocytosis daw yan. But for me nga, hindi pa to nag-start na ano, hindi pa to nag-start, nasa ano pa lang yan, nagde-decant pa lang. Number five, ayan. So, accelerated daw. Ito naman, yellowish, yung kanyang, yung kanyang plasma. So, most probably, mayroon yung liver disease. Ayan. May liver disease yan, ecteric. Liver disease, see you tomorrow, clean chem. May clean chem nga ba tayo tomorrow? Ayan. So, how do, how do we read it? Ganito siya. Okay? So, meaning to say, sabi nga natin kanina, your RBC would sediment. Okay? Would, yeah, would start to, uh, would start to um, um, form sediment below the tube. And this is how it looks like. Okay? So, take for example, ayan, ito siya. Okay? It will go down, 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 down. Okay? Papaba siya ng papaba. So, from zero to, ayan, ito, ito yung ano ha, this is wind probe. So, saan ka titingin? Right or left? Right or left? Sa left. So, ito siya. So, this is your uh, wind probe. So, kung makikita ninyo, zero, so, we're going to count that. Ayan. So, ibibilangin mo yung ano, yung distance already. So, nandito na siya. So, this is around 0.5 yan eh. 0.5. So, 1, 2, 3. 0.8. Okay? Nasa 0.8 na yung ano. This is actually 10 na ato. This is 8. Okay? So, increment niyan 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ito, 10. Um, unlike kasi sa wind probe, ayan, kung makikita niyo yung ano sa wind probe, 0 to 9, 0 to 20, 0 to 13. So, one digit lang sila. Unlike the other ano, na, na uh, ESR, yung increments niya is by 10. Okay? So, this one, bilangin natin, this is only um, 8. 8 millimeter per hour. So, that is the value of your ESR. So, ganun nyo siya babasahin. Sir, ganun din po ba sa, ano, sa lab? Yes. Uh, may, ano, may yung tube mo, tapos babasahin mo lang siya. Okay? So, hopefully, um, during your pre-internship, ano, uh, we will be able to do that. And so, having said that now, um, ako, usually, um, siguro pag nasa internship na din kayo, gawin nyo siyang practice na pag tinignan mo yung ESR tube, you would also ask, for somebody else's opinion. Okay? Kumbaga, pa-double check ninyo. Okay? So, moving forward, ayan, aside from Westergren, aside from your Wintrobe, we also have your Vestmatic. Your Vestmatic is a benchtop analyzer for ESR. So, you can do 20 blood samples at once. Okay? So, ito, naka, 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 um, slant yung ating ESR tube. Anong mangyayari pag nakaslant yung ESR tube? Faster or slower? Faster or slower? Ay, ma-slow na yung ating mga ano, mga keyboard warriors. Okay, it is faster or slower? Faster. Okay. And that have, having that in mind, di ba, that is, that is the principle now that they use to hasten para pabilisin yung Western Grand. So originally, di ba, pansin ninyo, yung Western Grand natin, Two hours. Kasi this is the most sensitive. Two hours. One hour and then another hour. What they did is to slant the tube 18 degrees, which now would, would make it now, uh, you would read the first, instead now one hour, you would now read it after 25 minutes. And then you would now, instead na second hour, you would read it after 45 minutes. Okay? So di ba ang, ang galing na 25 and then 45? Okay? So, instead na 1 and 2, 25, 45. Okay? So, how do we measure it? We measure the the ESR using your optoelectric sensors automatically that automatically reads your ESR levels. Okay? So, I am now down to the... Uh, I'll give you a case study by the end of the day. Pero hindi nyo naman nasasagutin na like in the TLC pa. Tasagutin din natin agad. So these are the different conditions. Okay, these are just the conditions. This is our these are all on your notes na ha, guys. So ESR, what are the things that would be increased? Your ESR um is increased in your inflammation, chronic and 
um, chronic acute, uh, what do you mean this? Acute and chronic in infections, rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, myocardial infarction, all of this increase yung ESR. Siguro magtataka kayo, sir, in nephrosis, isn't it, sir, that all of my, dub, all of my, pla all, all, almost all of my plasma pro proteins were out of my body because I have nephrotic syndrome, I have nephrosis. Question, what would be the only plasma protein increase during nephrotic syndrome? Sige nga. What is the plasma protein increase during nephrotic syndrome, children? The answer is... Ala, hindi ko makita yung chat. What is the answer? May sumagot. I mean, nakita po akong albumin. May pre-albumin akong nakikita. May nakita akong macroalbumin. Anong macroalbumin? May tinuro ba ako sa inyong macroalbumin, ha? Okay. Hindi ko makita yung chat namin sa O2. Ayan. May sagot na dito sa O2 at O1. Dito sa O3, O4. Okay. Anong sagot? The answer is, it's your, I mean, nakita ko beta 2, macroglobulin, konting-konti na lang. But the answer is, your alpha 2, macroglobulin. Okay? Alpha 2, AMG nga, di ba? Alpha 2, macroglobulin. So ano yung beta 2? Beta 2, microglobulin is the plasma protein you see on the surface of the cell. Small siya. Diba? Microglobulin. Yeah. Okay? Hindi siya pre-albumin ha? Hindi albumin. Okay? So, in nephrosy, in, in nephrotic syndrome, the only plasma protein increase is on the alpha-2 band, which is your alpha-2 macroglobulin. Okay? Very good for those who answered correctly. Kaya, in, nephro in nephrosis, okay, elevated pa rin yung ESR. Bakit, sir? Because your alpha-2 macroglobulin is a positive acute phase reactant. Okay? Did it make sense? Okay? Kung bakit sa, ma, sa nephrosis, wala man na akong natitirang protein sa katawan, mataas pa rin yung ESR ko. Bakit? Kasi nga, okay, isa sa mga rason, AMG mo, mataas pa din. Well, aside from that, we, we can also attribute that to a lot of other things like there is anemia due to chronic kidney disease, mga ganyan. Okay, saan siya increase? Increase po siya. Or in, when I say increase, gas is faster, ha? Okay? Increase siya sa tuberculosis, pregnancy, ayan. Um, Waldenstrom, macroglobulinemia, hepatitis, and the rest. Now, okay, now, nasabi niyo sa akin, sir, lagot ka, mali ka sa mga explanation mo. Bakit nandyan si polisay? Bakit nandiyan si spherocytosis? Bakit po siya kinonsider na ESR is normal? Bakit siya kinonsider na ESR is normal? Bakit siya kinonsider na ESR is normal? Eh, sabi ni Sir Slower daw, mali si Sir. Eh, nakarecord si Sir. Paano niya papalitan yung sagot niya? Ano? Why? It's just... I would still stick up with my answer na it is slower in, in polycythemia vera, in your spherocytosis. Why? Okay. It's not about... And the, ang inflammation, faster eh. Inflammation and acute phase reactant, faster ESR. Why is it that in this such situations, normal yung ESR, sabi ni sir, slower. Slower pero within normal or within reference range. The answer is this. Okay? Very similar to what Jericho said. Okay? Very similar to what Jericho said. Remember, sa sobrang bagal niya, lumampas na isang oras, wala pa rin siya. Um, lumampas na isang oras, pwedeng nasa zero pa rin siya. Or nandun pa rin siya sa um, within the reference range. Gaya nga nung sabi ni Jericho. It's it's too slow, okay? It's too slow na nandun pa rin siya sa 1 hour na yung nakalipas, hindi pa rin nagsisediment yung RBC. Nakukuha ako. Kaya when I say slower, the, the slower things na sinabi ko kanina doon, still slower pa rin sila. But eventually, okay, um, pag luma, uh, lalabas yan in your results, it would appear as if it is normal. 
Okay? As if it is normal. And, of course, for the last slide for today, okay, for the last slide for today, we've been talking for two and a half, two hours and 30 minutes na. So, the, um, guys, I want you to remember this, okay? ESR, sabi natin kanina, di ba, that ESR is a non-specific test. Non-specific test siya. But, there are two conditions. ESR is useful and is indicated in establishing the diagnosis and in the monitoring of two conditions, which is your polymyalgia rheumatica and temporal arteritis, where the rate of your ESR typically exceeds 90 millimeter per hour. Okay? It's your polymyalgia rheumatica Okay, polymyalgia, um, rheumatica, and your temporal art, art, tempora, temporal arteritis. Okay, temporal arteritis. Am I clear? Clear po ako? Hello, guys? Am I, are we clear? Can I see a raise of hands if I am clear? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, for our um, for our um, case study, okay, case study number one. Okay, I want everybody to answer, ha? Huh? I want everybody to answer. I will be calling each, uh, I will be calling persons to answer. So, dating gawi tayo. Pag hindi alam, call a friend, okay? So, ESR, ay, hindi pa pala yan yan. Because of lack of space in the laboratory, masikip kasi, ayan. The rack of sedimentation rate tubes was placed directly on top of a small refrigerator. What are the three possible effects on the ESR result? Will it be falsely decreased or slower, falsely increased or faster, or nothing at all? Okay? So, again, what are the three possible effects on ESR results? Based on everything that we talk about, both the intrinsic and the extrinsic, um, what could be the possible, uh, what could be the possible um, effects? So, unang una, will it be intrinsic or extrinsic? Intrinsic, extrinsic. Correct. Sabi nila dito, tignan muna natin yung sa, sa O1 at O2 kung anong sagot. Correct. It's extrinsic. Bakit extrinsic? Hindi ikaw yung problema. ba? Ako yung problema, sabi niya. Okay? Sounds familiar? Okay, so, extrinsic. So, now, what would be the what would be the effect in your ESR? Anyone who's the brave soul this afternoon? Who would, I don't want to see answers on the chat box. I want somebody who would volunteer themselves. Okay, so everybody, lower down your lower down your hands. Okay, lower your hands. Okay. So anyone who wants to answer, just raise your hand. Or acknowledge yourself na lang sa chat. Kasi hindi ko makita yung iba. Ay si Louie. Ay, okay. Oh, Louie, unmute your mic. What is the, um, what possible, ano, what should, what is the possible effect in your ESR? Louis, nagtaas ka ba ng kamay? Is Louis speaking? Wala akong marinig. Wala pa? Okay, baka nagkamali lang si Louis. Dahil dyan, tatawagin natin si... <laughs> Kung ako natatawag ng friend ni Louis. So... Okay, any volunteer? Any volunteer who want to answer? Oh, Miss Alberto. Unmute your mic, Danny. Ay, nawala siya. Hello. Ayan, there. I can hear you na. Good morning, sir. Ay, yeah. Good morning there. Good evening na here. Uh, good evening, sir. <laughs> um, If it's on a refrigerator, um, on temperature. Top, on top of the well, refrigerator. Um, temperature would affect the... The 
the tube. Yeah. Um, it would and be, what? well, it would accelerate or it would go faster because um, it's on top of a refrigerator due to the temperature. Okay. So thank you, Ms. Alberto. Okay. Thank you, Danny. I'll, um, thank you, Danny. So that's correct. Okay. That's one. Why? Because the test, the tube is on top of the refrigerator, the monitor, the, the, the heat of the, mo the motor, okay, the motor of your refrigerator would cause falsely increase or it would accelerate your ESR. Very good, Alberto. What else? I can see chats over here talking about optimal temperature. I want the specific scenario, hindi yung general na, na uh, optimal optimal temperature. I want what's happening on the case. Okay. That's correct for Alberto. That's very good, huh? That's very, very good. Aside from that, I still have two, and I have, I st I am still waiting for two answers. Iba naging English ero bigla kasi taga, taga US yung kausap. Okay. <laughs> what else? Okay. Daniel Travel. Daniel. Sir, falsely increase ESR po um, due to um, tawag dito, vibrations po brought by the first motor of the refrigerator because some refrigerator tends to have ano po, vibrations and vibrations po brought by the opening and closing of um, the refrigerator switch parang tawag dito, results to parang faster aggregation of the sedimentation rate po. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Apa, para nakita nyo na yung case na, na binigay ko sa inyo. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Ayan. So, tama yung sinabi ni Daniel. Because of the um, vibration, it would now falsely increase. So, para ano yan? Parang, um, kunwari, nilagay mo dito, tapos yug-yug yung, yug-yug ng yug-yug yung paggrupo mo, di ba? Yug-yug ng yug-yug yung lamesa. So, what will happen? Faster. So, what else? Last one. Last one, guys. Last reasons. That's, Go for, for Gore. I saw Gore raise her hand kanina. Jella, what's your answer? Uh, go, Jella. Sir? Um, um, falsely decrease po. Why? Um, because, di ba, sir, since it's on top of the refrigerator, there are tendencies po, di ba, the, when we open the re the refrigerator the temperature that's that's like within the refrigerator parang ma ano siya there tama po ba ayan oh <laughs> uh, the, like there sa sa tube like near near sa area where the tube is placed therefore it it might cause false decrease in um ESR Okay. Thank you, Chela. And thank you, guys. <laughs> Ito, no, funny thing. Ngayon ko lang na-realize, nilagay ko pala tong case study na to sa PowerPoint na sinend ko sa inyo. <laughs> so, nandyan pala sa PowerPoint nyo yan. Okay? So, the answers, thank you, guys. Alberto, Jella, and Daniel. Ayan. So, the answers are here. Okay, number one. Baba, it would cause a slower ESR because the air, the cold air rushing out from the, the refrigerator or freezer would actually slow down your ESR. It could also increase it in two ways. It can increase your ESR because of the vibration ng pag open and close ng refrigerator or ng freezer. And aside from that, the motor, the heat ng motor um, um, released by your refrigerator. Okay? So... There's another question here. I think na figure out naman na ni Azi yung tanong sa yung sagot sa tanong niya. Okay. So um yeah, so that is it actually for today. Guys, thank you so much for um intently listening amidst my very very long PowerPoint. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our discussion on um, our discussion on Clinkem and also in Hima. So you'll see me again, Hima, tomorrow.